Today we'll discuss about aggregate demand. Aggregate demand is the macroeconomics concept. The word aggregate means added all together. So the aggregate demand is the demand for everything added all together. So we're not just looking at the demand for a specific product. We are looking at the demand for everything. So car, boat, train, absolutely everything inside aggregate demand. We've already learned the four components of GDP. Consumer spending, investment spending, government spending, net exports. That's the components of aggregate demand. Let me explain. The mobile phone I am using can be purchased by only four different entities. IT can either be purchased by consumers, it can either be purchased by a business, it can either be purchased by the government or it can be purchased by another country. So the spending by these groups added all together is aggregated demand. Now let's take a look at the graph. On the top right here y-axis, we have price level and horizontal axis on real GDP. As you can see aggregate demand is downward slopping. Now the downward slope of the aggregate demand curve means that, as the general price level falls, consumers and businesses will increase their demand for goods and services. This will happen for three reasons. First, there is a real balance or wealth effect. As the price level falls, purchasing power of consumer increases and consumers demand more goods and services. This is because the real value of money is measured by how many goods and services each dollar will buy. Accordingly, a lower price level increases the real value or purchasing power of accumulated financial assets, such as savings accounts and bonds, that have fixed money values. For example, a household might not buy a new car if the purchasing power of its assets is only $30,000. If there is deflation and the price level falls, the household's real purchasing power may increase to say, $50,000, so the new purchase is more likely to be made. A second reason for the aggregate demand curve slopes downward is an interest rate effect. As the price levels falls, so do interest rates. Falling interest rates, in turn increase investment spending by businesses and certain kinds of consumer spending on items such as automobiles and housing. Third, there is a foreign purchases, foreign trade or net export effect. As the domestic price level falls, the relative price of foreign goods increases. This reduces demand for the now more expensive foreign imports, increases export demand, and thereby also increases the aggregate quantity demanded.